Dear students, uh, this video is to explain to you how to solve question number 12a and 12b from the practical electricity topical test once again. The question is not a very easy question. Just now I went through with you in class. It's just in case you didn't catch my explanation in class just now. So what we have in this question is a simple series circuit. Okay, in this series circuit, I have a power supply of uh, EMF 240 volts. Okay, I also have two bulbs. The first bulb is bulb A, which has a rating of 240 volts and 100 watts. The second bulb is bulb B, which has a rating of 240 volts and 500 watts. Next, we need to ask ourselves, what does the rating of 240 volts and 100 watts, for example, mean? Okay, so 240 volts and 100 watts means that if I provide the bulb with a potential difference of 240 volts, okay, then the power that is dissipated by the bulb, okay, will be 100 watts, okay. But if I provide the bulb with a potential difference of something different, okay, something other than 240 volts, then the power dissipated will not be 100 watts anymore. It will be something else depending on the potential difference across the bulb. So how do we make use of this information about the rating of the bulb? We can make use of the rating to figure out what is the resistance of the bulb. So using the formula power is equal to V square over R, I can say that the resistance of the bulb A, RA, is equal to V square over power of A. Now remember we said that if I provide a potential difference of 240 volts, then the power dissipated by bulb A will be 100 watts. So I can make use of this information and substitute numbers here. I can say that the resistance of bulb A is equal to 240 square over 100. Okay, which gives me an answer of 576 volts. Now I can do a similar calculation for bulb B as well and I will end up with an answer of 115 volts. Now we come to the next part of the problem. Now the next part of the problem requires us to compare the brightness of bulb A with bulb B. Okay? To do this comparison, we need to first bear in mind that the brightness of a bulb okay, actually depends on the power dissipated by the bulb. After all, power is energy per unit time. Okay? So if I say that bulb A, for example, dissipates a larger amount of power, what I'm trying to say is it gives out a larger amount of energy per second, which will make it the brighter bulb. Okay? So how do I perform this calculation? So I need to first remember what are the formulas that I can use to calculate the power dissipated. So power is IV is also equal to I square R is also equal to V square over R. So depending on the information that I have at my disposal, I need to pick one of these three formulas to figure out what is the power dissipated by each of the bulbs. Okay? Now if I look back at the circuit here, I don't know the current that is flowing across these two bulbs. I also don't know what is the potential difference for each of these bulbs. Okay? What I do know is that the potential difference is not 240 volts because 240 volts is the total PD but it will be shared by bulb A and bulb B. Okay? So the easiest approach to take from now onwards okay, is to first find out what is the current that is flowing through both bulbs. Being a series circuit, the current flowing through both bulbs will be the, exactly the same. Okay? So I can work out the current that is flowing through both bulbs very easily. I can make use of the IVR formula. Okay? So I, I know is V over R. So I'm going to make use of the total values in this circuit. So I put in the total potential difference, which is 240 volts. And this is the total resistance in the circuit. Okay? This gives me a value for the current of 0.347 amperes. Okay? Now that I have the value for the current, it makes it easy for me to work out what is the power dissipated by bulb A and bulb B and ultimately make a comparison of their brightness. Okay? So I'm going to make use of this particular formula for power, which is I square R. Since I know what is the resistance for each bulb, and I also happen to know what is the current that is flowing through each bulb. Okay? So I can say that power of A 
is 0 0.347 multiplied by 576, which gives me an answer of 69.4 watts. Power for B is 0 0.347 multiplied square multiplied by 115, which gives me an answer of 13.8 watts. So, from the numbers that we have obtained, it is fairly clear that bulk A is the one that actually dissipates more power, which means that it's going to be the brighter bulb as well. Okay, Bulk B, it does not dissipate as much power as bulk A, and therefore it's going to be the dimmer bulb. So, I hope that little video was useful in getting you guys to understand how to do comparison of brightness problems. Now, every time you want to comparison, every time you want to compare the brightness of bulbs, okay, you just have to make use of the power dissipated by the bulb, all right? And depending on what information is available to you, you have to try and find ways and means to figure out what is the power dissipated by the different bulbs in the question, okay? Wish you all the very best.